Today we are opening rare Yu-Gi-Oh tins. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're gonna to be opening two 2004 tins and these are very exciting because they do have Magician's Force, Dark Crisis, Ferrani Guardian, Ancient Sanctuary, and Invasion of Chaos. Just a lot of epic packs to open up. And we also have Swift Guy of the Fierce Knight. So we've got two different tins here. This is gonna be pretty fun. These are being opened up for Zach. He got these off Ruxin34.com and there's still some tins left. So if you want me to open them or if you want me to ship them sealed, go check it out. We also have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card from the video or favorite pack, potential card to pull, anything like that. Let's hop into this opening. We're going to start off with the Swift Gaia tin. These tins are really nice because they do have some pretty awesome packs. So we're going to open up the Swift Gaia. Let's see what the promos are looking like. You guys know how sometimes they come out pretty ugly, but these do have the plastic to protect them. So I think that's going to help. All right. We have, first of all, Swift Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Very epic. Secret rare. Very cool. Let's make sure we're, we're recording after that debacle the other day. <laughs> okay. This is like actually super minty. The back looks really good. Maybe, maybe tiny little scuff right there but not much that is a very nice near mint plus shape let's get all of our packs out here we go let's check our packs make sure we didn't get first edition or something weird like that okay we didn't let's start off with ancient sanctuary very cool can we pull what do we want enemy controller he, he told me some cards that he wants ancient sanctuary he said any hollow so anything we don't really have a preference here for him judgment of the desert i would love to see enemy controller bursting destruction or dark magic attack we got a Goblin Thief and, okay, Triangle Power. That is not a foil, not what we're looking for. Mystic Shine Ball, Fiend, Scorpion, Labyrinth, and Nightmare. That's okay because it's probably the worst of the five packs, so we can, we can save it for later. Next up, let's go into Dark Crisis. He said Exodian Necros is what he's looking for on this one. We have pulled a couple Exodian Necrosses throughout the life of the channel. Let's see if we can pull another one. I will never get tired of pulling Exodian Necros. It's a very, very nice card. We have a Spell Reproduction. A Gaga Gigo. We've got a non spell casting area. Ray of Hope. And Infernal Queen Archfiend. We've got a twin sword of flashing light. Guardian Axe Girl. Altar for Tribute and Iron Blacksmith Kadetsu. It's time for Pharaonic Guardian. For this one, he said he wants Lava Golem or Metamorphosis. So let's see if we can pull either one. I mean, Metamorphosis is a common, but it is short printed. So that would be a nice pull uh, either way, even though it's not a foil. Okay, come on. The struggle is real right now. Sometimes these just rip open really strangely. We got a Master Kionchi. A Soul Eater. Yeah, a living wonder of mystery. We love to see this guy. Arsenal Bug. The Royal Tribute. And... Doc Designate. It's not a Jack Atlas card. There's a Metamorphosis. Okay. Servant of Catabolism and Disturbance Strategy. We did get a Metamorphosis. These are actually hard to pull, even as common. So that's really nice. It's like a $10 card-ish, something like that. So far, we've got a very nice promo and a Metamorphosis. Okay, let's go with Invasion of Chaos because we just don't open Magician's Force very often. So let's go with Invasion of Chaos first. Can we pull? We've already pulled BLS. We've done it finally, but we've only done it once and it was from... Not an OG pack. It's a reprint pack. So we will take an OG one here. We got a yellow luster shield. I think it was BLS that he said he wanted, right? I'm sure he would be okay with uh, D-Mock or CED as well. Ojama Black. Oh, he also said Black Tyranno. That was an, uh, sort of a different one. Blasting the Ruins. Will we get something? Here we go. Oh, Berserk Gorilla. I thought it was going to be something. Prickle Fair, Coach Goblin, Soul Absorption, and be gone, Knave. Final pack of this tin. We still have an extra tin coming here. We've got a Magician's Force. All right, another tin, I should say. Can we pull Dark Magician Girl? We have Hidden Book of Spells, Royal Magical Library, Rare Gold Armor. Oh, Magical Merchant. That's a good comment. I thought that was something. And is this a foil? Oh, an XY Dragon Cannon. So it's not Dark Magician Girl, but it is an Ultra Rare from Magician's Force. So this is pretty nice. Check that card out. We got an XY Dragon Cannon. The Union Monsters, they fuse together. Very, very cool. That was a pretty good MFC pack. Poison of the Old Man, Aitsu, Dark Cat, and Exhausting Spell. First tin was pretty decent. Let's see if we can top it with the Obnoxious Celtic Guardian tin. All right, let's open this one up. The other one was a lot looser on the uh, the wrap, so just pull it open. This one's a little bit harder to open. Let's go. All right, let's hope the promo was as nice as the Swift Gaia because that one was really nice. Okay, let's go like this. We have Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. Card is a little bit warped slightly, but the back surface looks amazing. Wow, these are really minty promos. Centering's pretty good. Actually, this is worth 
maybe worth sending in. Not for 150, but eventually when you can send it in for cheaper at bulk. But it's a nice card. Let's get our packs out. Five packs. Let's start off with Ancient Sanctuary again. So far, promo's been really minty. We've pulled one ultra rare. We've gotten a few nice commons. Pretty decent. Let's see if we can top it and get something even better. We've got a metal armored bug. Solar Ray. The Goblin King. Mystic Walk. And will we pull something good here? Oh, these these are dinged at the bottom. Oh, no. Double cost and Okay, thank goodness. That would have been depressing if that was a foil. Dust Barrier, Sonic Jammer, Elephant. Man, all of those were a little bit dinged on the bottom. That's a bummer. On to Dark Crisis. Hopefully nothing else is damaged like that. That was unfortunate. Right out of the tin with a bottom ding. Fortunately, it wasn't the promo, though. Let's see if we can pull something good. Ah, we've got Battle Scarred, a legendary card. Acrobat Monkey. We've got Sasuke Samurai number two. Shooting Star Bow Seal. And finally, will we pull some fire? Oh. Kaiser Glider. We've got another Ultra Rare. That is cool. Kaiser Glider. This guy's pretty cool looking. I always did like the way this guy looks. The Kaiser Glider. Then we got another Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu, Cyber Raider, Pandemonium Watch Bear, and Cestus of Dogla. Let's go to our Pharaonic Guardian. We've already pulled Metamorphosis. Can we pull the Lava Golem? We pulled it in the Every 2014 opening. If you guys missed it, go check it out up there in the eye. By the eye, I mean the top right of your screen. You can click the eye and you will be able to see the videos I put up there. We have Gravekeeper's Coast. Curse, not Coast. Banner of Courage. Curse of Aging. The Yomi Ship. This is a Duel Links classic. And here we go. Oh. Ooh, a Reaper on the Nightmare. One of the best super rares in this set. So we have a two-foil tin now, which is pretty good. We still have two more packs as well. Reaper on the Nightmare. Check him out. He's reaping. Yeah, that guy's pretty creepy. So is this the Reaper and that's the Nightmare? Is that what's going on here? Reaper on the Nightmare? Is that what's, is that what's going on? I'm finally analyzing this artwork for the first time in 18 years. <laughs> We've got Hieroglyph, Lithograph, Gravekeeper's Cannonhold, Cryuel, and Buster Ranger. Two more packs. Let's go, what do we do first? Invasion of Chaos? Yeah, because Magician's Force, we don't get to open it very often. Invasion of Chaos. Let's pull something epic. Here we go. All right, get over there. We've got a Griffin's Feather Duster. Not Arby's Feather Duster, unfortunately. <laughs> Inferno. DNA Transplant. Sea Serpent. Warrior of Darkness. He's a warrior who defends the world of the Sea of Darkness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And... Dark Dryceratops. That guy, I always thought he was a little bit creepy, but kind of cool. Skull Marked Ladybug, Recycle, Hero Mergers, and Death Kangaroo. And finally, we have one more Magician's Force pack for Zack. So, so far, he's done pretty good. We've got four foils. Got some nice comments, some really nice promos. The promos being nice is definitely a huge plus to buying these tins. Um, if you're actually going to open them, because, you know, of course, it's usually an L. But those, those promos will definitely help. We've got a second Goblin. Hopefully, we can get some PSA tins. Formation unit. Can we pull something crazy? Freezing beast. People running about. Although they always suffer in silence, they swear an oath to inevitably revolt. It's funny. And here we go. Amazonist tiger. Okay, vampire orcus. Disarmament. Old indictive magician. That's good. And a mass driver. The vanguard. Overall, a pretty nice opening. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe for more epic old school content. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Tone Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike, Nance, Mimic, Gecko, Duelist Kingdom Cards, and Spanky McFarlane. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.